hello guys welcome back to the show tips in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix halo infinite is crashing on your pc and how we can fix this up so there are many reasons and we're going to talk about some of the possible workarounds you have to try it as you know that the halo infinite is right now free for many users you will be getting the game right now so due to this when i'm trying to download as you can see i'm having this error on both my pc as well as on the laptop i'm having it on the queue even the network is good but you don't know what's happening but even though it's not our topic our topic is how to fix it's getting crashed so to do this you just have to go over here and you just have to right click and you have to go to properties now from here the first step is make sure that you have to disable enable the steam overlay while in the game you have to enable this once it is done you just have to go over here and you have to go to local files and over here as you can see you'll be having an option called browse as you can see the game is getting downloaded so i am not having any file over here but you will be having the file once the downloader on the game on your steam so you just have to click on browse and as you can see you'll be having the game uh, uh, folder here so you just have to select this and that is the step you just have to select this only that is what you have to do and moving on if you are having any kind of confusion i'll be showing you guys here so what you have to do is uh, just click over here on uh, sorry i mean just have to click on here right click and go to properties go for browse so you'll be having the game just add this and you just have to go over here so what, from here what you have to do is i'll be showing you that step with the crap game imagine this is the crap game go over here on the properties let me go to the local file see as you can see the game is installed on disk drive d 392.87 mb so the same the uh, halo infinite will be there after download but here as you can see it is getting downloaded so let me go over here and i have to click on browse so you'll be getting the halo infinite over here imagine that you'll be getting the halo infinite right click on this and you just have to go to properties now from here go to compatibility and here you just have to click on disable full screen optimization and click on change high dpa setting and make sure this is enabled and go for ok and this is what you have to do now just close this up and once it is done you just have to go to halo infinite once again go to properties from here go to local files and you just have to click on view verify integrity of game files you just have to click on this and once it is done you're done with this one this is what you have to do over here and the next thing what you have to do is just have to minimize this and just have to close this once again go over here on the settings and you have to search for graphic setting you just have to search for graphic settings as you can see you just have to click on this one and from here you will be having an option called browse options you just have to select this which means you have to select where the game is installed as you can see on mine it is on local disk c so i just have to go over here on program files and i have to go over here on steam folder i have to find where is steam folder so if it is not in the program file c uh, i mean i have to go for the program files maybe it, it is on program uh, 86 so i just have to go over here and i have to scroll down and i have to find where steam is installed and i have to find it from here and once i found the steam over here i just have to uh, go to the game as as you said earlier it is on local disk c so now i have to find the respective game from here and you just have to add the game once you are done with the game you just have to you'll be having an option like this so you just have to click on this and set this to high performance and go for save and just have to close this and go back to the steam and try to launch the game and most probably this will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification don't get confused on what i shown here you know you just have to understand that that's about it and this is what it's all about it and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe see you soon in the next video peace out